viewers, uh, welcome to Income Fund Funders, a unique show simplifying debt markets, hosted by yours truly, Sunil Javeri, and brought to you by Axis Mutual Fund. A very interesting question by a viewer. Uh, according to me, it should be known to all the investors at large for them to understand what is the difference between coupon, yield, and YTM. The viewer is asking me if he buys a debt instrument at 10% coupon attached to it, is his yield same as that coupon, and what will be his YTM? When a borrower issues a debt instrument, he issues it with a coupon or the interest rate attached to it, which can be 10%, 9%, 11%, and it can be for a maturity of one year, three years, five years, or 10 years. The instrument can be of face value of 10 rupees, 100 rupees, or 1000 rupees. In this case, let us assume it's a five year tenor paper with a 10% coupon attached to it. The original investor who invests directly from the uh, either the issuer or in the primary markets, coupon is nothing but the 10% interest attached to that particular instrument. Now, if this investor holds it till its maturity, in this case for five years, his yield to maturity will be equal to the coupon, which is 10%. As against that, if an instrument is bought in the secondary market by an investor at a price different from the original face value, his yield will change based on the market price which he is paying. Let us assume he, the price of that bond has gone down to 90 rupees. The yield for this investor will be 11.11% which is equal to 10% divided by 90 rupees. As against that, if the same investor buys it at a higher price than the original 100 rupee face value, let's assume at 110 rupees, the yield for this investor will be 9.09%, which is 10% divided by 110. So yield gets determined by the market price at which the secondary investor invests in the debt instrument. So yield is not equal to coupon. Please keep that in mind. And I have already explained to you, yield to maturity for anybody is from the time of investment, if you hold that particular paper till its maturity, whatever the yield which you have captured at the time of investment will become your yield to maturity. For the original investment, that 10% coupon, if he holds it for five years, yield to maturity will be 10%. If in the secondary market, somebody has bought it at 9.09% yield, and he holds it for the balance residual uh, maturity of three years or four years, his yield to maturity will be 9.09%. I hope viewers have understood the difference between coupon yield and yield to maturity. Thank you so much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.